Hey guys, I am back again for another Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy review, and now we're back looking at the Ceratosaurus from the Roarvores Wave 2. Obviously, this is one of the ones I was hyped to get because, again, the previous one we had, and I'm not going to show it in this comparison, so I'm not going to go do a comparison with that one. We already know how horrible that one looks. So, this one here, I was pretty much excited to get because it looks more like the one from Jurassic Park 3, and it looks very accurate, and it's pretty dang good to see it in person, and it's pretty bigger it's pretty much bigger than the previous one that we had before so before we get to the figure itself like obvious we're going to review the package first so the package is pretty much the same as the other roar that we went over with the triceratops so we're not going to go too much in detail except the only thing that's different is that it features the ceratosaurus more prominently like from here and the name and of course we have the ceratosaurus back with detail and then you have the tyrannodon triceratops and ankylosaurus which I wasn't really going to get the train down, but I was like, well, I was going to wait for the other one. Okay, that tells you we're done with the package. <laughs> Let's get on with the figure. Absolutely no words can describe how great this looks. <laughs> I know there's a little bit of a mess up in the eye, like the way it's painted in, but I think it looks more acceptable than usual, even though the other one is better in the other side, like from here. But anyway, like, look at this. This detailing is astounding. I've already been impressed with other Mattel figures, but this is just great. Like, overall, the detailing, I don't think I need to go anywhere, like, anymore to speak about it. Literally, it's just amazing. The airbrushing, great. It's exactly better than the one that we got back in 2015, which looks like they had very little airbrushing or none at all. The detailing looks astounding. The eye is painted on very well in that one. The teeth is great. It's not like it's a mesh. It's like a meshed up looking uh, teeth row. Literally looked like crap in the other one. This one looks astounding right there. They got the detailing in there. I would like to open the mouth, but I would activate the action feature. So, yeah. The horn is there painted very well as well. Even though it's a little bit of a mishap a little bit, but whatever. And, um... Yeah, the detailing everywhere is great. Also, the feet is not really all that big and oversized, but it can make the figure stand up pretty well at some point. There's the QR, I mean, the scan code and the logo again. The sound bite and like the sound box right there. And yeah, everything about this is really great. Well painted, enough said. Well sculpted, enough said. <laughs> it's just so great handling this in my hand is so is also pretty dang big like i mentioned before so i'm not gonna go get the old one for comparison i think uh, i think most of y'all probably already did that i think there's other videos out there that probably did it but i do not want to go anywhere further so yeah so let's get on to size comparison if the autofocus work there we go so let's compare this to the triceratops which we previously reviewed it's on the same scale and also i got these at walmart by the way Target sell these at a higher price, but Walmart is much better. So if you're looking to get these figures at Walmart, that's the place to go if you want a cheaper way. So if anyway, yeah, they're right along the same scale. Oh, you're right. I forgot that. Okay, I forgot about the action figures, but I'll get to it there. And let's get the uh, Sticky Moloch here. About a smaller scale. Works perfectly, I guess. And of course, we got the Velociraptor. I'm just going to make it a comparison right there. It actually looks pretty cool. Red and green. <laughs> so... And then let's go get Alan Grant, who he previously sniffed in the third film and ran off. And perfect scaling, at least. It looks pretty much probably the same scale as it is in Jurassic Park 3. And we'll move this guy over and compare it to the Jurassic Park Legacy Collection Tyrannosaurus, which is the Extreme Shopping, which I repainted. And since it's still a juvenile Tyrannosaurus, I would say it pretty much scales up pretty well. Or I guess it may be a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, I don't know. And before we end off of this video, I would like to show you the action features or the sound effects. Of course, it has basically a better way of showing the action feature when the mouth is closed. And when you press the button, the mouth opens and it roars. And it's actually much better than the Baryonyx. I mean, the Baryonyx is cool and all, but that that was actually kind of the flaw. Along with the uh, Allosaurus and Metriacanthosaurus. So, press the button, it'll activate a few sound effects. I guess like three to four one that one kind of sounded like the baryonyx that's the second one so here's the third one i 
I think that was the same one, the second one. And that's the thrashing sound. So there might be just three to four sounds. Maybe three to four sounds, I guess. All right. So that's the review of the Jurassic World Roar Vore Ceratosaurus. Perfect figure. I recommend buying this over the other ones. And of course, it's just great overall. I don't have anything else to say about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys later. And stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Maybe. Because again, take a little bit more of a while now.